here uh, giving Python students some help with tracing assignment statements worksheet number one. It's very crucial that you understand how to trace code. Trace code involves uh, checking it very carefully, possibly with a handheld calculator, uh, going through the steps of thinking that a computer goes through to make sure that the logic of the code is correct. If there's any background noise, it's just uh, two students that are sticking around after school because they, well, because they love school so much. Okay, so here we are. Um, the first line of code, price per drink equals 1.90. It's pretty funny that some people don't really like school and they're going to be famous because there will be about 1,000 views of this video because somebody's a teacher and, and, you know, everybody has a father out there. And if you're laughing at a teacher, you're really laughing at the teacher and his whole family, in, including his sons and daughters. So the code evaluates from right to left. The 1.90 plugs into the variable or constant name on the left. So I like to show students that they, sh uh, as beginners, they should draw arrows here to show that it, the code works from right to left. Some people, they even make a little column for each variable over here, like say total cost. And then they put a, in this case, a zero underneath that nice neat column uh, they made that shows the value zero here would be stored in the variable total cost. Uh, the three plugs in the num drinks and such. Now it really gets interesting after we've executed this code from top down, check, check, check. Now when we get down to this line of code, again, there's an equal symbol there, which means it's an assignment statement. And that means that the value that simplifies on the right-hand side here plugs into and assigns is assigned to the variable total cost. So this zero is going to be overwritten with some new number. And let's see what that number is. Well, num drinks at this point in the code, num drinks is a three. So I'm going to put a three there to show my scratch work. Price per drink is equal to 1.9, 1.90 if you want to get technical. And uh, num appetizers is equal to $8.99. Now the computer doesn't know if it's dollars or euros or yens. So uh, really it's just 8.99. And price per appetizer is equal to, oh, I, I, my bad, as they sometimes say. I put the wrong number there. Um, num appetizers is two. I, gotta, I have to be very accurate here. It's really a two. And price per appetizer is 8.99. So I write an eight. Some people try to do this in their head. Uh, I don't like that, especially for ninth graders. You're too young to do this stuff in your head. Anyway, according to order of operations, we always do parentheses here first. So, and that star means multiplication in computer science. So three times 1.90. Now, if you need a calculator, that's fine. Um, but if you do it as scratch work here on the margin of the paper, that's fine. Just get it right. Uh, uh, the answer comes out to be three, four, five, six, six point seven. This is not the answer actually. It's just the subtotal of what three drinks at a dollar ninety each drink. No, I just did the math wrong. Uh, that should be five point seven. This is a 5.7 that I wrote in here instead of 6. So this subtotal is 5.7. So that's sort of uh, simplified now to 5.7. I should just put a line through that. Over here, 2 times 8.99 must be done first according to order of operations because of these parentheses. The plus must wait until later. 2 times 8.99. Well, that's like 2 times 9, which is $18, minus the 2 pennies. So uh, I have 17.98 as my simplified subtotal over here on the right-hand side. So all of that has been simplified. I might want to put a line through the 2 and the 8.99 so I'm no longer confused. And I'm left with 5.7 plus 17.98. Well, if you do the math correctly and add that up, either on a handheld calculator or on an online calculator or just on scratch paper, 
The final answer ends up being 23.68. So somewhere I'm going to write 23.68 to show my scratch work. And that final number, after simplifying the right-hand side here of this equal symbol, that number 23.68 from right to left plugs into and is assigned to the variable total cost. Just like 8.99 went from right to left and got stored in price per appetizer, 23.68 is being stored in the memory of the computer uh, for the variable name total cost. So on my scratch paper, I'm going to cross that zero out and put a 23.68 there to accurately show that that's the number that's stored in the variable total cost. I have now traced and, and uh, evaluated that line of code, that assignment statement, and now I'm left with just this last line of code here, pen.write. This whole worksheet assumes that you understand turtle graphics, and when you have turtle graphics, uh, there's something that you can create called a pen or a turtle, and there's this write command that causes whatever's in the parentheses to show up on the screen. Somewhere on the screen, the number 23.68 will show up. Now, there's not enough information given to know where on the screen that is. Uh, I'll see uh, your teacher to learn more about the write command. But on this worksheet, I simply want to know that the answer, the, the output, is 23.68. Uh, no dollar sign shows up because, well, there's no dollar sign here. That's the final answer to exercise one. Exercise two, you can do that one on your own, but make a note that num pizzas is going to be the number five here. Price per pizza is going to be a nine. And sales tax multiplier is 1.06. I'm currently in the state of Pennsylvania. We have a 6% sales tax. This uh, is a mathematically correct way to figure out what it would cost to buy five pizzas at a, at a price per pizza of $9 with the 6% sales tax included in the grand total. The answer here comes out to be 47.7. Uh, the computer does not show the actual, the extra zero that a, price, that a cash register would probably show or perhaps an app, uh, but uh, you can look up in my notes or somewhere else online how Python would show an extra zero there for accuracy, but that is the number that would show up on the screen somewhere using what we call turtle graphics of 47.7. Because five times nine is 45, and when that 45 is multiplied here with 1.06, that number 47.7 is what you get when you simplify the whole right-hand side here. And that 47.7 plugs into the variable total cost. And that's the variable that we're, that we're writing on this computer screen. Number three, be careful with the order of operations. We have a set of parentheses here. Number four, be care very careful of the order of operations. You must do this multiplication first, then this multiplication, then this multiplication, and finally you have to do this addition. Even without parentheses, Python will do the, follow the order of operations and, and multiply before adding. Um, this exercise is pretty straightforward. You, do the you simplify the parentheses first, and then you multiply. So this addition is done first, then the multiplication, and your final answer prints out. Uh, good luck with uh, the rest of this worksheet. Um, show scratch work like I did here to, so that the teacher knows that you understand the steps in tracing assignment statements worksheet number one.